Yeah, here you are. Okay, welcome to January's uh, Finance and General Purposes <coughs> meeting, councillors. Um, so, without further ado, the absence book has been passed around already pre meeting. So, 21 22 uh, 111, apologies for absence. So, note the apologies for absence. Uh, from councillors Mia and Carl. <coughs> Propose to walk where we want to put first. Propose uh, councillor Mia. Yeah. Seconded by Helen. All in favour? Yep. Okay. And I'll propose councillor Carney. Yep. Seconded by councillor Gibbons. All in favour? And moving swiftly on then. So 21 22 112. Disclosure of interest. Uh, declarations of interest from councillors in the room, please. Um. On the allotment report, I think there's something about the Stanley, Stanley Street. Stanley Road, your mm. brother's yeah. allotment. Yeah, yeah. okay. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Um, uh, to receive written requests for dispensations, have we received any, no. Park? No. no. So, uh, the dispensation for the Stanley Street, I don't suppose it matters at all whether you're. Well, it's not pecuniary, yeah. is it? No, it's not. No. So I think we'll allow that. Um, so, moving on to the minutes of the last meeting held on the 8th of December, um, I've seen them prior to uh, release, so I was happy with them. Um, anyone got any issues with them? So proposed, Chair. Seconded by anyone? Yeah. Seconded by Councillor Good. All those in favour of accepting those then? Thank you very oh, much. Sorry, I wasn't here. Okay, uh, so Councillor. I'm abstaining. Um, uh, confidential items. Uh, do you guys think there are any confidential items? On I think the, the market update. Um, it's not sort of commercial sensitivity, but it does involve another organisation apart from us. Um, yeah. mm. And personality, so I think it would be better to be. Okay, sounds good. Well, not personalities, <laughs> but personal yeah. circumstances. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, do, yeah. do have you got any input on that one, uh, Eve? Presumably, yeah, you. You think it is okay. Uh, so proposed by Councillor Owen, seconded by Councillor Good. All those in favour. Okay, so propose that we'll move the market to uh, after 125. So public participation, there are no members of the public in the room, so I'm going to quickly skip 115 and move on to bank reconciliation statement and balances, uh, which the clerk has passed out to you. Uh, I have them up on screen if you want to see them up on screen. Um, I, I have spotted a date which I've queried with Eve. Um, if you see in the middle of the Unity Bank, there's a uh, 31st of the 7th, 2021, when it should have been the 31st of the 12th. Uh, apparently that's a manual error by the Deputy Clerk, and I've seen the, uh, well, the, the, the full statement is available on Eve's desk if you guys want to see it, but the yeah. figure is the same. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, did you see what I mean? Yeah. It's up on screen there, there's yeah. that uh, statement date there, 31st of the 7th. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. I didn't have any issues with the uh, actual data, um, but we do need to record the data, so the, the balances, so I'll, I'll ask if any councillors want to ask any questions, and of course we've got the um, that statement mm. there as well, if anyone wants to query any of the three statements. I've, got, I've just got one question, which is really, because I don't think I've seen it before, this public sector deposit account? Yes. With a lot of money in it? Yes. Yeah. That's all our money. That's reserved. That's just. That's no, reserved. it's it's all the money apart from a working balance. So, I guess. So that's yeah. just a basic bank account statement. Mm -hmm. it, it's a government. No, it, it's a government highly secure, low return, risk free uh, like bank a account. account if you like. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's a, gold reserve. It's a, you know. an interest bearing account. It is. And and, it's safe uh, and, and I noticed that it's. Increased quite a bit this yeah. compared to last month. I think it's increased quite a bit as the interest 11, 11 quid. Which oh, it, I was going to say, oh, wow. I was going to say, I didn't spot that. Yeah, <laughs> no, well, it was it 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 nothing for a while, but I think, I think they've increased interest rates. 
like half a quarter of a percent or something. Possibly, it, yeah. And that would have some bearing on it. it. It basically means that it's as safe as houses. Some some county councils and district councils got caught out. I think there was one council that invested in Iceland they did, they did, and they did. went down. Yeah. And so, yeah, so we, we're, uh, with our good governance, we uh, are uh, banking it safely. Yeah, just a quick on that chair. Yes. Uh, John's mentioned those figures. I mean, where did he get it from, John? Is it on? Just just come to the It's on screen, the house. Look, it's on this. Oh, that. Yeah. It's there. right there. I think, think it all, the I think it, I think I've only seen oh, yeah, it. To, I think I've only seen it today. It's only come oh, today, haven't it? We could have a party. Um, yeah. <laughs> bring our own. <laughs> bring our own booze. <laughs> so, any questions, or shall we sing out the? Uh, um, deposit, yes. No, I don't need to remember that. Uh, I was aware that if you knew member of this We're not council, looking at the budget yet. The, um, we're not, not looking at the budget not yet. Not, we're not looking at the budget yet, we're looking at the bank statements. Okay, sure, okay. Okay, yeah. just hold, hold your water for a while. A little while. Um, bank statements, no other questions? No. no. Do we no. need to read these out then, so the... Uh, well, the statement to date, so the bank, that's from the 31st of December, yeah. is the current one. Um, to date, it's £91,011.70. Are you so noting that then? Yeah, so yeah. that's from today. I've at or is it, is it only the full council we need to note the balances? One, one meeting we need to note the balances? Yeah, this one. That's well. what the uh, internal auditor recommended, because mm -hmm. we've not done it before, mm -hmm. have we? So. Okay. So £91,000 on the order. Is the, other, is the other one still 153,334? Yeah, so that won't change until the, no. this month. No. And the other one is uh, just a, a selection of uh, payments, isn't it? So, yeah. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get rid of that and go back to the agenda, if I may. Okay, so noted. So moving on then to the budget. Um, 21 22 117 to consider the draft budget for 22 23, including any project suggestions and the proposed precept demand to make recommendations to the full council. Uh, so, Robert, I'm going to turn to you uh, in a second if you have an issue uh, or a question. Um, but I would say the project list didn't get sent out, but the project list is the same project list that we discussed in December. Yeah. Uh, the question that I've got is, do the full council need to see the benefit of it if the full council decide to de debate the removal of projects and, and the relative hierarchy? This is what Councillor Gibbons was saying before the meeting, and I, I tend to agree they should. If that is the case, then the only thing they haven't seen uh, is the laptops, um, for the whole council, which need to be added, you know, the uh, Chromebooks yeah. that we've added, and your riverside railings need to be moved from £8,000 well, to silt. Silt needs to well, say silt. It's, it's never been no, I get accepted that. No, I because get that. I did a risk and resource statement and, and that were never passed at full council because I sort of withdrew it on the on budget would but, it, but, would it could, but it so, can still be on the project list all right okay yeah, yeah, yeah. The project yeah. 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 that's why it comes up on the seal payments yeah because yeah. I'm, I'm i'm quietly optimistic because of possibly i don't know 106 money were i know this in the oh here's budget but i'm 106 money but by the look of what the figures that you gave at the last meeting there's a potential for Bradford Council to use some of that money for that project, isn't yes, there? Yes. With it being in Bingley. Yes. So we might not even have to no. paint the railings. I, you know I what believe, I mean? I believe the clerk was asked to write to Council uh, Bradford Council and ask where the uh, six, oh, one six money it, yeah. Is, yeah. is being spent for that uh, development. Yeah. Because it was significant. Yeah. And you're right, they are occupied now. So yeah. that first tranche should be coming through. Right, good, yeah. yeah. Okay. Not to us, but to... Yeah. So if you want to put it on, that's fine. Yeah. So yeah. I think the project yeah. list does need to be upgraded. Yeah. Um, so but shall I take an action point to do that before full council, so it goes out supporting information? But that, that yeah. isn't actually a budget in the budget. It doesn't need to be because no. it's coming right. out. No, okay. So can I, can I, do I mean, it, it can't be withdrawn to say... <laughs> Anyway, I don't want anything to be with with the same. It's a budget. project list, not a yeah. budget yes. list. Yes, yes, so it should stay. On the project list, um, will there be any mention of the pool? And there isn't. But do you have any projects that you'd like to add? Well, to the we, pool? I don't. Um, but 
it's just that in terms of the project list that we've had over the years, the pool has always been on it. Ah. And are we anti, you know... Can I stop you there, Helen? Mm. Are you talking about our um, priorities, priorities list, yes. Or the project? Yes, because this is why I'm Councillor asking. Councillor Gibbons raised this and it will come up under SIL because that's one of the questions that uh, uh, right. Philippa asked me. Now, if you look at the SIL, then the SIL has to have a request from a person yeah. to spend so so friends of Bingley Paul would have to make a request yeah. for a project yes. to spend it for well, well they would for or, anything or we they? Yeah. come up with a project list uh, yeah. Yeah. so uh, I don't know and it'd have to be a project rather right. than let's okay. give the friends of Bingley Paul a bung no no I, I, well I know that yeah, I, yeah. I know that I, I, I just yeah I'm sort of getting projects and priorities I, I don't want people to look at it and yeah, say yeah oh they're not spending no. anything on the no. pool, well, do you know what Philipp I mean? Philippa's may be mooting the subject of consultations for, for SILS funding, but may well come up in a later agenda point. Okay, um, so I'll I shut think, up. I think this has got some mileage in it, this particular conversation. Well, it has, but we are hoping to have um, somebody from Friends of Bingley Pool yeah. at the full council meeting that might generate, um, you know... So Pity Mo isn't here, Councillor yeah. Carney, if you would know, actually. So, if it's okay with um, the rest of the councillors, I will delete laptop for streaming meetings because we, we won't need that because if we go for the laptops for the clerks, then this will be replaced. This is my wife, as I keep telling people. Mm. Uh, so she can have this back and uh, I'll have one of the What clerks. number's that? Um, and I'll add the Chromebooks. It's in the IT equipment. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Um, and, and, and put the uh, Riverside Walk railings just as a project and write the word SIL next to it. Right, okay. Uh, is there any other projects that we think ought to be added to, to this that we know of? Is Roberts... Roberts is on there. Solar cells on the roof of the hub. £8,000. It's still on there as a project list. No. Yeah. But is it in... No. The budget? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like, I mean... Having discussed all the rest, I'd like to see it on the budget. I've got to know the restrictions involved. Yeah, but where are you going to put it? Which budget line are you going to put it? And how much are you going to put in? Because it obviously has a payback and all that. So, and it has yeah. risk and reward associated with it. So, you know. Well, looking at looking at latest electric bill, I think uh, it's when we start. Start looking, you know. It's gone up. Only at 300 and odd quid. Yeah, my, um, my, my gas bill has quadrupled. It's oh, horrendous. Mm. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, got, get, so, get, get your caught on. So, uh, given the fact that the, the, the project list is there, mm -hmm. can I set this aside with an action point for me to you bring that can. to the full council? You yeah, might look at, um, I think Councillor Curdill is bringing a project about youth council. I will ask him. Um, youth involvement working group. Yeah. Right, I think that's good. Think, now I don't I know what that will. I don't know if it's been costed. Well, it's a good shout to ask him. Yeah. yeah. He, he should be preparing an R and R for next week. Really, he's, he's doing an initial one. Right. He's sent it to okay. Already, so he's, yeah. Okay. Oh, is there youth services in the budget? No, There's nothing. Yes, be. it says youth provision zero zero. zero yeah, there zero, used to be, didn't there? Yeah. No one would ever do anything about it no. okay so that being the case then am i now able to set this project list aside and yes. talk about the budget yeah okay <laughs> right budget then do we need to talk about the budget uh i don't think I there's much to talk because, about because i'm happy to propose that we yeah. we go for robert did have a question about but the budget. my is a question not not not, not, not it's only an information question Regeneration and tourism. Update me on what that one seven thousand, one thousand seven hundred fifty-one pounds is for. Okay, hang on a bit. So well, it's things spent, like, isn't it? It's what hmm? we've spent. It. It's it's what we've spent. It, that's what we've already spent that's out of that spent. budget. Actual. Yes. This year. Yes, yes, okay, yeah. projected fourteen thousand. Yeah. Yes. So that's you've got no spare if that's the case. Right, no. yeah, but well, yeah, but that's been. We yeah, haven't. That's, that's all been spent. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, and it's been earmarked. I can answer that. The bit of paper I have uh, has two more columns on it, and I can throw it up on here, and uh, 
you can see the extra columns are there. Now, if you guys remember, it's under overspend hmm. CP toilet via. Do you remember the yeah. F and GP was tasked to go and find 37,400, mm -hmm. which we did in December. Well, then if you come back down here to your uh, there, that 14,000 pounds has got 2,000 pounds. Is that the right one? And that's, uh, just make, make no, sure I, that um, is. Yeah, regeneration yeah. and tourism. Get your full 12 grand out for CP toilets, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that should be. Yeah, I've, I've, I've added. Hang on, it's, uh... I don't want to complicate matters, Steve. No, no. I, think... no, I don't want to complicate. Yes, £12,000 has been taken from that budget to make it £14,000. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's yeah. spent on things like the markets. Um, I've got down the railings, although. That might come elsewhere. Um, what else is it? Uh, there's a lot that comes out of regeneration and tourism. I can't actually. Yeah, it's, it's markets. Yeah. Quite a lot could come out, but obviously it hasn't. Yeah. But coming back to my more general point, I think if we are going to end up with a discussion at full council or where we might, we might pay stuff back. I'm assuming people will want some of that discussion. Yes. I think we need to be presenting them with something that's a bit clearer. No, that's Yobs. People at the back of Yobs. Yeah, is that um, the bank? Because you have moved the, the CP money in. Yeah. You, there was forty four forty five thousand pound underspent. But and it, that's the that's conversation the, you that's, want. That's the, that's the conversation I want because I don't. Yeah. I don't necessarily think How do we, we get to a position where we have £45,000? And why do we therefore think we, we still need to get that 45000 again next year in the precept, given that we haven't spent it this year and maybe we haven't spent it the year before? Good question. Chair, I mean, if it helps, it's only 100 quid, but the planning budget, um, yeah. we've only spent 145 quid. And you put in 250, well, I'd be happy to put it back down to 150. Yeah, well, thanks for that, but it's not important. <laughs> I know it's only quite, uh, I'm just making the point. Okay. I think okay. I would say, in terms of underspend for things like that, I think that the last two years. We're down to COVID. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, well, it's um, also things down... like pavements and waymarking, getting signs done or whatever, all of those things yeah. will come yeah. out of tourism and re regeneration. No, I'm not just saying about tourism and regeneration, I'm just saying across the board. I, yeah. I agree, but I think that the underspend is as a result what, what, of things yeah. being... It also, ev every budget line which is a project yeah. has to have a sponsoring councillor. Yes. And if the sponsoring councillor says something in January which puts it in there, they should deliver on their promises during the year. And yes. if they don't, uh, and uh, youth services is a bad example, but mm. that's why it was cut because it was because it was, nobody it was rolling forward with ten thousand pounds and no one was doing anything about it. Yeah. So it was like, mm, okay, yeah. we should do that. Classic case was uh, bringing up uh, do, doing up the stations and making them yeah. more attractive. Yes. Yes. Well, that's grants, isn't it? That comes out of mm -hmm. grant money. Mm -hmm. and grant money is underspent most years. Um, but again, that's down to COVID, again, I would have said. Mm. Uh, Before COVID, we pretty much yeah. got rid of most of it, yeah. shall we say. Yes. Yes. Allocated. <laughs> Allocated, that's the best word. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, so again, I, I think that hopefully as things are moving forward... No, but the, argu the argument is that underspent generally falls into general reserve which is then netted out in the next year's yeah. budget so yes we may well be taking too much from the Joe public uh, but they should in theory get it back the following year unless we do it again and that's your concern well that is just yes. comes a rolling process yeah. yes but um, you know we are at uh, the, the the right reserves for the government allocation you know, so uh, we're, we need to be carrying it. something like 80,000. So yeah, If we can find 40,000 at this point of the year for CP toilets. <coughs> you know. yeah, we're, we're at the end of a difficult year, I think, as, as, as Helen says. So. But I wouldn't have expected, say, three years ago, like, say, 2019 to 20 when we were doing the budget, I would not have expected that we'd be able to find that sort of money. Yeah. yeah. No. So I would expect us to run 
Pretty close to it. I think we should be spending what we get. What we have. Yeah. We, we should. We should need what we what we ask for, yeah. and we should yeah. be spending it. Yeah. yeah. But having said that, you know, if you're looking at the list of projects which are not general service items, there, there's not much of them. You know, like twenty thousand pounds or so. You know, to, to some people that might be a lot of money, but to a council it's not. And, you know, so it, it and that includes uh, SIDs, solar cells, railings, um, laptops, and Chromebooks and things. You know, mo most of the stuff in the budget I is running the council and running the services which the council provides. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, it's okay, getting, and it gets it gets more expensive every year because we've the projects that we've already done needs mm. to need uh, servicing. That's true, and That's true. we also need to um, think about another staff member. We also need to think going forward. Now, in, in this budget, we, we definitely, in my view, need like somebody like a warden now. Yes, okay. was well, certainly um, the preferred contractor for CP Tordas did suggest that he thought a council of our size ought to have an FM contract um, and to regularly inspect the premises to see what defects are available on the premises. And he wasn't talking about his tour, he was talking about the whole premises. Um, and so doing a six months the assessment of the building to see what needs doing, what needs attending to. And the heater behind uh, Philippa is currently defective, we think the fuse is gone. But, you know, that's not a role for the uh, the clerks. Mm. So we, we are going to pick that one up in the FM subcommittee, John. Just on your thing I've about the that. warden, I mean, we have discussed that no, in just, staffing. Just, yes. It has been discussed in staffing. Right. And it was felt that the the first thing that we needed was extra I, I agree, I agree. I, I, was, I put both points forward. Um, that uh, we and need that first and then... Yeah. And then the warden yeah, afterwards. Right. What I'm saying is... When we're think, talking about budget, mm -hmm. we've we've gone on and on, and we have this every time we're trying to save the public a penny a day or something by spending mm -hmm. hours pairing little bits off for anything. I want to propose that we accept the th thirty-three pound uh, fifty um, proposed precept. Precept. I'm calling it three fifty th thirty-three fifty because that's what I would I'm proposing. Just make it up to a straight thirty-three fifty. I think it's thirty-three forty-one. Well, you can't do that. Yes, you can. Uh, of course, well, you can. Well, the only way you can do that is to just, is to just find adjust, the missing adjust, money and put just, it somewhere else. Well, just just adjust one of the figures. Uh, yeah, you've got to do that. So yeah. there's well, what's a, that, that will take you longer than leaving it at thirty-three forty-two. No, no, <laughs> if you want, if you want, would that take you longer? To change it from 30, 30 41 by just adding a small amount to one of the. the uh, anyway, I'm happy at 30, 41 or whatever it is. 33, I've just 32. looked at. I, I've, I've been I've been studying all things, and there's, there's many councils just have fifty uh, forty five pound mm. or something mm. uh, as mm. that figure. Don't yeah, tell no, me. I don't tell me that work it out exactly to that without doing it the way I've just said. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I have put forward a proposition that uh, the F and G P. And I'm happy to second it. Right. Okay. On, on on the basis that I've asked uh, the clerk, has anything materially affected this budget in the last month? And the answer was no. Right. There were no big bills come in. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think the thirty-seven thousand four hundred via the C P toilets is generally safe. Um, I have no input again from Philip Davis, and we have no input again from the uh, Secretary of State. So you know, again, mm. we sit and wait. Um, so, so I, I, I think the project continues. So I think my personal project is is satisfied. Uh, I think the budget is satisfied. I agree with your email that you sent round. Um, didn't agree with him doing council work outside the council meeting, but uh, other than that, I'll what, what do you mean? No, I always get told off when I send a round robin email around for not not working inside the council premises. So uh, I don't understand that. No, yeah. you wouldn't because it's not personal to you, John. I, when I send a round robin, I always get a rebuke. So uh, what to captain? Yeah, council work only gets conducted in council business, council offices. It, it, Never mind. I, well, Never I, mind. No, I, I find that ridiculous. I know, I do. Too. I am. I am. I'm sending an email to fellow councillors yeah. to tell them what I think. 
Yes. And to try yeah. and get a point across. Yes. And because it beggars belief in my view. Why we want to keep trying to, you know, to pair and pair stuff off when, when, when we've got a budget in place at this committee. Yes. I think the point that maybe correct me if I'm wrong, Steve, um, is you know, this idea that we shouldn't walk into a meeting with a predetermined view. Is, is that maybe... Yeah, I was just saying that I have had a remark made to me in the past that uh, council visits are only conducted in council chambers. Um, and, and uh, can, can I just make one point about the email that I've just sent? The reason I sent the email and the reason I sent it last night was because I think... If I were to say all the things that I said in that, uh, on that email in a meeting, mm -hmm. how much of it is going to be absorbed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. right. And I agree with every word you wrote, so yeah. right. okay. I don't have an issue with that. And I'm happy to second your proposal you've right. just made okay. Um, okay. On, on the proviso that this budget goes forward with the project list, with, with the colours on it, because I think the colours are important to say that the FNGP have done what the full council asked us to do, in December, because that was an action point to come find the money. So we report back to say we found the money, this is that. We've still got £13,315 spare running to the end of the year, which is like three months now. Um, we have actually had a conversation with the cleaner, uh, you'll be pleased to know John, yeah. um, and we got a proposal to reduce the cleaning of the two toilets down to two. Oh good. And he will pitch up at nine o'clock and not clean the, the CP toilet for opening Excellent. for the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we save ourselves uh, oh, you've, four, you've, right, four so and a half thousand quid. Yeah, that's excellent. And it just floats mm -hmm. up, and it actually floats up to the, exactly the money that we already had in the budget. Right. So well, that, that'll, that'll, satisfy, job, that'll satisfy job, our filling. Job done, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> just, Have you uh, anticipated the increase in gas prices? Uh, I don't think we no. have. No. Uh, no. And I don't know whether the clerk wants to comment on that. Get energy costs... Yeah, they, they are they are going through the roof. Yeah, that, the running costs for the hub need to go up. Yeah. Running cost toilets and running cost office probably needs to increase. Well, I don't think the running cost of the toilet needs to go up any more than the 25,200 we've got in there for 4192 and 413. 4192 and 4193. It's electricity costs, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, which comes out of the running cost office, doesn't it? Yeah. The running cost toilets is the consumables and the cleaning, isn't it, really? Okay. But don't we get electricity bills to pay? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're on that sheet, uh, Robert. It was three, three hundred and twenty-eight pounds. Yeah. <coughs> <last month. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. In the overall seats, scheme of things, even if that doubles, it's not going to be so massively different. Then. Pardon? You said two hundred and twenty pounds. No, I said it was 320. 320, I think, so I think you know, that's just off the top of my head, I'm not sure. That's for a month. Yeah, that's for a month. So yeah. for this month. One month, well, that's more like, okay. Yeah. For this month is on so it's a quite, it's considerable if it does. So we need to increase that, don't yeah. we? Definitely I think we're that. finding John's 17 pence, whatever it was he wants for yes. pence. But, but Steve, I noticed on the, the Excel, not on the printout, you've got some comments against some of these. Apart from those, yeah, I think. I can, Did you uh, have some comments? Ah, oh, that one there. Yeah, left is pending discussion with Askaban about about access and uh, cleaning. Uh, so that that's the twenty two thousand that um, we've now got to clean fix for all three toilets. Uh, so we're okay with that. What we haven't got in there is the um, hoist. Seven hundred pound a year, and the door, and any insurance uplift, which is minimal, but it's there. Uh, so I, I'm thinking we do need to add a little bit more in in that particular one. Because um, I think you had a comment on the one next to it as well, didn't you? Uh, no, on where? There. The red one. Yes, that that was the comment that you made that we'd increase the run rate for this year to cover the last four months running forward. Right, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that, 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 that we'd already done that. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we need to add some more 
um, coming out of the uh, conversation with Esther Bannerman about their costs. They were pretty good. And what happened is uh, we did it on Zoom because John Collier, the business development manager, was uh, COVID. Uh, we did it on Zoom, so he didn't. I don't have a copy of the figures that he sent. He, he projected, but they were pretty small. Um, you know, they they were easily under two thousand pounds for the whole lot. Um, we sent him away to go and look at the door cost because we've already got that from Healthmatic. Um, again, they're competitive on that. We we were pleasantly surprised, weren't we? Eve? I think I don't want to put words in your mouth, but uh, the the figures he was quoting in the tenth of December were pretty low. Yeah. So I th I, th I think if we were to float that particular uh, twenty two thousand up by the figures that you're talking about to get that to be thirty three pound fifty, that would probably be about right. <laughs> where, where, where did we say energy? Sorry, where did we say energy was? Energy is in, in running cross offices. offices. But, but if we're now currently looking at bills running up four hundred quid a month, yeah. we need to more than double that. We don't do. We, we yeah. won't be spending four hundred quid a month on electricity here. We right? just have. That's what the last bill was, Steve. It was over four hundred pounds a month. Turn the heaters off. I nearly fell off my chair. Well, we haven't actually been in the office that much either. Yeah. No. But no, it's but paying for the toilets as well, isn't it? Yeah. 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 What's the? Is the heat on? When we're not here, just uh, uh, yeah. uh, all right. Yeah. But if you think of the toilets, you know, the doors and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot water. 412s are 48. When that's. Yeah. 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 Well, okay, 412s are 48. So that's that, that's £1,600 life. Yeah. Is, that, is that what we're saying? But there's there's uh, summertime in the years as much, isn't it? No. no. Do we, no but that's is it just electric? We have gas as well. No, we don't have gas. just have electric. Right. But. Although we won't use it as much in the summer, the toilets will still use and the mm. hot water will still use. Yeah. It's not going to go down substantially. No, no. No, well. And CP toilets will have a boiler in it and lighting. Yeah. So, so are, we adding, are we adding 1,600 to that? I think maybe more than that. Yeah. I do. I'd double it. Yeah. I would say 6,000. Okay. Because all we're hearing is it's, go, it's gone up, it's going up again, it's and it'll go up again after yeah. that, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the trouble is, it's uh, it's commercial rates, isn't it? And they, they, they won't, there won't be uh, there won't be cap on any commercial rates, will there? Okay, so there'll be. So if we make that six thousand and make that uh, twenty four thousand, what does that do to your precept? £33.98. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. On another two, two pence. Yeah. We'll make it 6,125. <laughs> <laughs> you know, instead of just instead of just going to 6,000, go to 6,125. What does that do? £34 debt. You you're, see? Math, yeah. you're a math teacher, obviously. Obviously <laughs> not. That's a lucky guess. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, uh, can I repose the proposal? Re 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 <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Did you get that? Uh, no, sorry, what was it? 6,125. Yeah, we asked 4192 to uh, 24. 24. Yeah, and then and uh, the next one down, 4193 to 6125. And we magically got to £34 dead. <laughs> Proposed by Councillor Good, seconded by Councillor Williams. Any more for any more? No, is this, is this committee pleased to recommend that to full council? In, yeah. 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 yeah, and so look forward to the discussion. So all in favour, thank you very much. Okay, so... Uh, I don't understand not. it. I don't understand it. Well, we're, we're, st we're still going to be 15% below average even then. And there's a ri and, and I would say there were uh, a probable uh, a chance that probably that average that I've calculated will increase because yeah, I, think, yeah. I don't think all other councils are going to uh, not increase their budget. But I don't know. Can I... Um move on to the subject of reserves which is still technically back to budgets uh, mm -hmm. it's not a revenue budget it's background budget 
Um, if you look on the reserves tab, uh, you'll find that he's added some uh, comments on there, um, which is a <coughs> the extras re required reserves for the £10,000 replaces the £10,435.98 which we got uh, to pay for election expenses this year. Mm -hmm. So that £10,000 is in the budget and will replace the other. But uh, what it says to be agreed at full council, we need to agree to put it in reserves from April. So we min it in April. We min it in January, that as soon as we get it in April, we put it in reserves. Oh, I see. It yeah. needs to be minuted that we move it to reserves. Yeah. 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 Um, on that's the election budget, is it? Yes, yeah. election budget. Yeah, that's, that's on, on SIL 2019 20. 2018-19, this is the 16,536, is need to move SIL money spent in 2020 and 21, 22 from this reserve. I don't think we've got any. I mean, I've, I've trolled through all the minutes of, of all the council meetings, bearing in mind that council meetings need to agree to, to take money from the reserve or to spend SIL. I think that money is still all there in the budget, uh, in the reserve pot. Um, he tends to agree with me, but he's going to ask Nicola to have a look. So I, th I think that that comment there won't have any effect whatsoever. And 2021-22 is we have received seal money. Uh, there was uh, about fifteen hundred pounds. Yeah, it wasn't, we have definitely received some. It wasn't yeah. an awful lot, but that needs to be minuted in January. That we move that to the reserve, mm -hmm. and then then the seal policy that we're going to talk about in a, in a little while kicks in and we'll talk about that. All right. Okay. Yeah. So just to bring councillors up to speed on reserves. Sure. Just because I've just thought about it. Yeah. We've got this 40 grand in there for changing places. As that will come out. That will be spent. But at the bottom of here, yes. aren't we replacing the reserves? So are we replacing that 40 grand? No. No, because it's allocating reserves. You only replace unallocated reserves. That's why we have to find the 30 odd. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That 40 already. But, but once that 40 has come out, I'm just looking at the bottom of this spreadsheet. Oh, the, the 183 the, the big one, pound. The 183, we're putting it back in. So are we putting in an extra 40k there for stuff we don't need? I think I'm embarrassed enough to say I agree with you. Because we don't there's need a, there's if, a spend, if we've got the 40 a, grand. There's a dawning awareness spend. running around the table at the moment. <laughs> If we've because got the that, 40 grand and we're spending it, and we're not once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone we're yeah, not replacing it next year. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We would take that under advisement from you and minute it so that uh, we've got an action point. Because whilst I want to think about what you just said, I do think you're on to something. Because the 183 is definitely at the bottom of the reserves figure. It's there on the screen. And it does get caught up to say, this is the reserves which we're depleting, so we need to uh, put, back put it back. Um, the £10,000 for election doesn't, because it doesn't add up that last column. But the other column, the forty grand, is in there. Mm -hmm. So we, if effectively, what we need to do is to delete that, like yep. that, Assume we've spent it, that's what we've got to do, right? Yes. Yeah. And the reserves go down to the uh, the precept goes down to uh, £29.31. Uh, You'll be pleased to know. John. Well, if, no, if it's, if it's, if it's covered, but, uh, but, uh, yeah. we, we will think about that long and hard, but I think you're right. I do, I can't yeah, see yes. the point of Because we're spending it, it's not going to be there. Once it's, it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. yeah. Because it, it shouldn't be in reserves remaining column, because it plainly isn't spent. Yeah. What so about ten, ten points, I think, yeah. uh, for councillor yeah. Gibbons? So where, what about the suggestion for solar panels? Where will we find that? Well, we'd find it by putting eight thousand pounds back in a budget. Okay. So do we add that to climate emergency or running costs or...? Um, I mean, we still don't know yet whether it's a goer, do we? Because no, we no, still no, don't know no. about the roof and things no, like that. No, no, no. So can we put it in reserves, no. you know, got to, as yeah. an ongoing project or...? 
do we add it Fees to the has got to come up all the time. climate emergency, as I said, or does it add to um, the, the hub reserve? I'd put it in climate emergency, then it's... Climate, climate emergency, yes. I don't know, I'm in two minds about that, because uh, I, I think back to my argument about the CP toilets in 2018, 2019, where this council put £12,000, didn't spend it, had it there as a CP toilet, mm -hmm. actually was on the list as a CP toilet, didn't spend it, didn't move it into reserves, put it into general reserves and spent it on something else next year. And that might be the same case with this, if you put it in climate emergency. Well, could you put it in the hub reserve? You could put well, it in the that's what happens, Steve. That's what you're doing. Yes. Yeah, the we, box, we know that's, that's what happens. Yeah. But, you know, if if we're going to say we're going to spend money on potentially a, um, a, a solar panel and then decide not to, then it should get washed out. That's the why the well, put it in hub reserve. That's why an essential cost is feasibility studies. Three or four hundred pounds, that it's worth it for Kenny. In that case, I'm, I'm tending to agree with you that probably climate emergency is a better place to put it. I think it. so. How much? Because that's got 5,000 in it already, hasn't it? Yeah. How, how much were the panels going to be? 8,000? 8,000. <coughs> so if that was 13,000, what would that do? £30.25. £30, £30, don't, don't you think it'd be gainful? I think Robert's just mentioned this, that we just got a feasibility study and say, is it, is it, a, is it a proposition? Um, the problem, what's it, what's it going to... Uh, what electricity is it going to produce, etc, etc. So well, these these are the questions that we asked before to be answered. Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah. I agree, and, but we, 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 need, we need to do it just so that we know where, where we are. Yeah, the we, keep, is, we keep moving about and you know, getting is, nowhere. The problem is if you put 400 quid in to do your feasibility study, but not the 7,600... Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. I was, sorry, I was just, I was just saying... Uh, to, to make some sort of positive progress yeah, yeah, yeah. one way or the other. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. that's well, all again, I'm looking for. Again, for it to be... But you can we we go form. back to a discussion we had a few months ago. If it's if we're going to get a... Before we get a feasibility study, we need more facts and figures yeah, yeah, than yeah. we've been given so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the councillor and the councillor Beckwith have got the action point. They've they? got the action <laughs> point. They need to act on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but if we don't put the money in, then we've got a hope in hell. Yeah, no. absolutely. Unless we take out the thirteen thousand pounds from reserve that is still kicking around going forward, but uh, it won't be no. once we go over budget reconciliation. No, no. So we we've, we've changed the budget then again, yeah. which is not not uh, good practice, but we have. Um, any more for any more then? Fine, let's. Uh, Let's do that and move on. We've already had a vote on it. Shall we do? just stick your hands up again? Let's say yes. We're quite happy with that. Yes. I'm sorry about that. It's just been a few things. Uh, green and clean then. One one eight uh, to receive an update from John Good and the green actions. You sent out the dates of the litter pits. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean that was sort of just done in minutes. Uh, I got an email from Ruth um, because a member of the public had asked. When the next litter pick was, uh, I looked into it and I just thought <coughs> approximately six weeks, and uh, and then uh, Ellen's going to put something in the, uh, the newsletter because I'm conscious that in the past we've done it in various areas yeah. uh, mm. due to COVID and etc. We've done it from the hub, so she's going to add something asking. Basically, what. We need, um, we're quite happy to do it in other places, but we need to places identified to make it worthwhile to, yeah. to, to organise it. I, I think down the main drag, down there, down to Cosingley Station, because I reckon cars are always throwing it out. Where's that? Down the main drag. Yeah, they can't, they, they, they won't allow us to do it. 
Oh. No, 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 that, that's uh, done uh, twice a year by Bradford Council, and believe me, it must cost an absolute fortune because they have to close the roads oh, off. I don't mean, no, I'm sorry, John. I, I Do you mean, mean, uh, I mean Main Road? Oh, um, right. I, I, I've road. never noticed that being down, that. Down by McCarthy and Stone, down by. Oh, that way, sorry. Bringley, sorry, I, it's in somewhere to go. Down the Grammar. Right, okay, fine. Yeah, we yeah. have yeah. done some. We, we, yeah. we have, we have, we've we done have, sackfuls. The other thing is, of course, is councillors can suggest. Mm. Absolutely. Well, I've, 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 I've areas, always yeah, ask. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. So, um, okay. So uh, 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 I would I'm second trying. your list of uh, yeah. litter picking dates. I yeah. thought they okay. were yeah. sound. Yeah. 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 Quite a, uh, yeah. So, uh, well, all in favour of those litter picking yeah. yeah, yeah. dates? to publicise those. Yeah. Do you have any other update on Green and Clean, uh, John? Are you Mr. Mm. Green and Clean this year? Well. Uh, yeah, I, I've, I've, I follow my mentor, so I... Uh, so your mentor's back on the council now, so you No, you my mean? mentor is not back on the council. Oh, my my mentor Norfolk. lives in Norfolk. <laughs> oh, OK. Um, oh, that one. Yeah. Yes, that one. And we now. And uh, uh, just a, an update, I've just been today, uh, Just it is a green and clean issue, but not particularly for this council, but on Saturday... Um, Friends of Myrtle Park, I've just been and picked the trees up today, and, well I say trees, um, whips, mm. we're going to put a, a, a row of bushes, trees to grow uh, on the edge of the Myrtle Park to sort of blank out uh, Lidl. So, oh, right. And that's yeah. gonna that's gonna be put in uh, this weekend. So but two, two things, did Snicket's ever get cleared? No, I, no I, I sort of withdrew it and I will follow it up in the future, oh, yeah. but uh, if you remember, when we were, I think it was when they opened the hub. Yeah. Um, Sandy Alderson. And, and Alderson came, and it, or, no, it was another day when, when I was in the I office. I thought he got his team back. Um, he, he was going to do some, and then I, I've, basically it's slid after that. that. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. So, but it's, okay. it's something that I'll, uh, I'll look into going forward. Okay, yeah. so if we can move on from... Uh, Green and clean. Market updates were moved into the uh, private piece. So we're now allotments. We have a fantastic yeah. allotment. Yeah. We have. Yeah. I've, uh, I've already congratulated her on that, uh, Steve. So that's a lovely piece of wood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm surprised that we usually have uh, Jennifer here. Uh, I did go and look, uh, it it uh, it mentions on there about the uh, demolition of the uh, greenhouse and the. Um, boiler house uh, that were adjoining. Um, in my view, they've done an excellent job if they've cleared all that stuff off that site. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it's left a bit of an indentation um, yep. Yep. about a foot Ooh. deep. But um, Rolf's suggesting that we um, get the contractor as and when he comes, maybe to just fill it in with that or. I'd already suggested just filling it with sort of topsoil and then mm. it, they wouldn't have to go digging big mm. bricks out. Mm. Uh, what I would like to uh, add to that, though, is that I did go down and have a look myself. And if you remember, it was discussed in the past about, um, what's the word, stabilising the foot, uh, foot the paths. Yeah. Now, there's a narrow path about three foot wide grass path um, and you can't um, avoid, avoid it in, in, as, in, in as much as that it's there's things at each side of it and it's getting extremely dangerous it needs some of that netting or, and I think we agreed to, to do this uh, I think the allotment holders were going to do it or something mm. provide some of that um, plastic Sort, yes. sort of netting yeah. that you can run up for running cars sort of and, and I think that's something we, we, we need through the allotment officer and, and, and Jennifer to, to, look, at. to look at because I went down and it was so it was good. seriously I mean it's mm. muddy and it's the worst time of the year mm. but, uh, mm. but it's it's so wide mm. and it's dipping like that and mm. so you tend to go through and it would just it would just mm. it would, there's, there's a good chance of a fall there mm. Mm. yeah mm. So yeah. So bark or anything like that wouldn't be a solution. Um, well, it's grass, you see, and they cut it. So it, 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 ideally, it wants some. To me, it wants something. To, I'd take advice, but it wants Mind something it. to stabilise it. You know, mm -hmm. make it firm. Mm -hmm. Because it, 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 you keep walking on it, it's just going to. Yeah, I, it, I'd use that stuff on my driveway, and it's not. It's not cheap, but it does interlock together when you. 
Oh, you have done some of that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can buy it. It comes in uh, meter squares, yeah, yeah. and you, you cut it to shape yeah, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it all into. I'm, 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 sh- I'm sure we've mentioned this in the past, mm, and, and pour and, gravel in it, and mm, yeah. peat, and put, throw some grass seed down. And yeah, yeah, it should be it okay. Yeah, bigs yeah. it, bigs it up. Yeah, but anyway, I just thought I'd point that out because uh, I've actually walked on it and I know that. Uh, but look, looking at the skating ring, looking at the Lockman report is um, Ruth is after guidance. Mm. Um, this bit of bold at the bottom of page two is to whether mm. the council is happy to consider dealing with this issue as a separate project, which is the topsoil issue. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or, or potential delay to the plot levelling work should be investigated where the costs have come back from the contractor, which have not been back yet. Um, I'm happy to do, deal with it as a separate project because we've all agreed that the well, I'm not sure we've all agreed. Mm. The the two people who were consulted agreed that the contractor had done what he was asked. Yeah, mm. and, and it would be unfair for him to moan at him because the footings went down three feet. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, I mean it's it'll, it'll, well, it'll lost money on the job like, yeah. basically. Yeah. So yeah. you know, and he hadn't asked for any more. No, I mean. So I, I think we sign that one off and, uh, yeah. and and wait for Ruth to suggest something else. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so we're happy to consider yeah. dealing with this as, issue as a separate project. Right, so yeah. yeah. Is that so yeah. agreed? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. Right, so the feeling of the room is that. And uh, we can ask Ruth to investigate path stabilisation. Yes, uh, please. Plastic yeah. meshing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Uh, don't we have a, uh, is that going to be done sort of officially? I'd like to just have a word with her and tell her where we are. Well, you've made a proposal, I'm happy to second it. And yeah, well, think evil. A, I think yeah. A, yeah, but I can talk to you can, Ruth but, about but, it but and explain it. the situation yeah. better yeah. than that. It's a particular path you've got. It's a two hour job, me doing an email, you know, it's not a, <laughs> it's not straightforward. <laughs> It took me a lot longer than that well, to write that last one. Well, at least you're on email, John. Yeah. <laughs> I am on email. Yeah, good. I'm not on Teams, as I No, understand. I'm not on Teams. <laughs> but and, I, and, I, and I noticed from that last email that we've had today from Ruth, in fact, at 11th hour before they came out, that's what I was commenting on. That I put in... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You, you misunderstand. I'm not... No, I thought it, it was the other email that I sent yeah. you. No, no. no I've got about, that. about the f- facility. Yeah. Okay. I'm, okay. not sure, I'm not sure I got that one. Did you? <laughs> Saying that I was excluded from the... Facilities management? No, 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 no. The facility, the, the, the use of a, 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 a compatible device. Oh, well, are we queuing that yeah. with the Chromebooks, are we not? Yeah, absolutely. There you go. No, I haven't got that. No, I haven't got it either. No, Have I you haven't. got it, Ray? I'm not actually on email. No, no. No. I've sent I've sent an email. I'll I'll find it and send it again then. I think uh, your prowess on email might be overrated. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's in my sent but no, I'm fairly confident it's in my sent box. Okay. So I'll check it out and I'll forward it to you. Okay. But, uh, okay. I sent I sent an email to it was I asked Nickel uh, it's in a budget I it's in a agenda item actually, is it? No, well yeah. it's a lot more report and Okay. You're talking about something else. So, yeah. well, we'll talk it. about it after. Yeah. Okay. So, allotments. So, there's the two um, uh, agenda items for the allotment done and voted on. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, we'll move on to a policy review to receive, receive an update on the amendments to the seal policy and to agree any actions. Well, this, this actually snowballed into a far bigger project than I thought uh, because I uh, had the good sense to ask Councillor Gibbons for her input. And uh, as ever, she did the number on me and made loads of comments, <laughs> which was very quick. In fact, wasn't it? it? Must have taken you ten minutes or so, and it, they came. But it came back very quickly. Um, so I was able to answer a couple of the questions. Uh, basically, Philippa asked me put some comments on it, saying, first one was uh, the uh, annual monitoring report. Do we have to publish our own?" I thought we had to report to Bedford, who included it in their annual monitoring report. But if you go and look at the legislation, it, it's there is a section that, there that says how should a parish or town council John. report on its levy John, levy just... spending? I know. I think it's kids opening and shutting it. I think that might have been the cleaner actually. Oh, is it? So it, it does say there is no prescribed format for reporting. Parish and town councils may choose to combine reporting on the levy with other reports they already produce. 
and the levy neighbourhood funding income and spending will also be included in their overall published accounts, but they are not required to be identified separately in those accounts. Where the charging authority holds and spends the neighbourhood portion on behalf of the local council, it ensure that it reports as a separate item in its own accounts. So it's basically saying, yeah, we should be reporting it, but we've always assumed that Bradford are doing it. So No, we have to report to Bradford. We do. Year, yeah, yeah, we do have to report to Bradford, but we've assumed that, that that's our report. Oh, right. But the legislation actually says that... Uh, Parish and town council may choose to combine reporting on the levy with other reports they already produce, meaning we have to produce and we're not doing it. So there was that point that uh, uh, Philippa asked. Um, then there was a list about the Regulation 123 lists uh, as published by Bradford as to whether or not we have to list infrastructure types, and I couldn't answer that. Um, but it does say... We can spend our seal portion how we wish to in accordance with legislation guidance. And the guidance says, um, whilst par parish and town councils are not required to spend their neighbourhood funding in accordance with the charging authority's priorities, parish and town councils are advised to work closely with the charging authority to agree priorities for spending the neighbourhood funding element and for this to be reflected in the authority's infrastructure spending statement where appropriate. Now, these statements are coming from the guidance to civil legislation, not the legislation itself. But once I got to that point there, and I thought, well, this is getting a little bit over and above the straightforward, let's go and update this from a, uh, a grammatical point of view and tidy up, because I was only suggesting there were some grammatical errors in it. And, and then one, once, Philip, were, once, Philip, back, once Philippa started, <laughs> she didn't stop and carried on. So... I've, I've had a chat with uh, Eve, and far be it uh, from me to mention a working group. Uh, I, I, I did think that I, I did think that me and Philippa shouldn't be sitting here making decisions and putting them to you without a discussion. So I did think, like the neighbourhood plan thing on the um, Milner Fields we were discussing the other night. Um, I, I did think that maybe two or three of us ought to get together and look at SIL and look at the legislation and fire up the PC and see what it says because I, I think we probably need to have a good look at it um, in terms of um, uh, that there's one comment I made here about the priority list and, and Philippa is saying there, I'm saying that the priority lists are identified by us and that piece of mm -hmm. paper there um, but Philip was quite rightly saying, well, that's the priority list for the, the budget, not the SIL payments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the SIL payments, you know, we, whilst we can spend SIL policy, shouldn't we go back to the people and say, uh, w what is the priority for SIL? Or, at the moment, this paper just says that people out there can apply for SIL. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't say what the priorities are or the consultation. So if we get, say, Friends of Myrtle, Park or Friends of Bingley Pool saying, I'd like £20,000 from your SIL payment, and that's all the money in SIL, yeah. and that's the only request we have, shouldn't we in theory consider that as a separate thing and grant it? Yeah. Or would we then say, well, we need to go to consultation because we're spending £20,000 of the town's okay. SIL payments, mm. and, and maybe Eldrick Weck wanted some, but they haven't asked. No. So, you know, it, it becomes a, a whole philosophical debate, which I didn't think I wanted to do, and I don't think that either that myself and just another councillor... Can I do. just give you a bit of background in my memory? It's, it's not that great on things like this. When the SIL thing first came in, Ruth and Ros's chair at the time spent a lot of time toing and froing yeah. with Bradford. Yeah. Basically, Bradford didn't actually have a SIL policy. Yeah. Um, but what they were saying was, um, as you've said, you know, a, a parish council can spend it on what it identifies, mm. but should pay attention to the yeah. uh, statutory authorities' yeah. uh, priorities. Yeah. 
um, what Bradford were really saying was, well, we yeah. haven't got a policy, but, but you can do don't this. you spend sill yeah. without asking us. Yes. That, that was that's, really that's, how it... That's, yeah. I, I think that's I've said this and, came out. and Steve pulled me up on it and he I said that isn't what it said, but it yeah. actually does say somewhere that he had to consult the... He did yeah. say in the sill policy, yeah. it, did, oh, it did, before I deleted it. Yeah. yeah. And because then, the guidance says completely different. Yeah, the guidance yeah. says differently. So this was a, a mm. quite a bit of to and fro with Bradford. I, I Agreed. And they still, as we'd have to ask Ros this or, or Ruth, as far as I'm aware, they never actually came up with a SIL policy. Or if they did, they didn't share it with us. But they 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 had a kind of an attitude that um, you can only spend it on things that we well, agree yeah, to, yeah. which say, in fact is not what no. No, the no, policy no. says at no, all. No. Because yeah, they, because they're getting the other eighty-five percent of it anyway. Yeah. So yeah, the um, the, the shill policy as part of the charging authority uh, changed in December twenty twenty. So this regulation one two three right. listing is gone now, and uh, you'll find a very very generic uh, priority list on there, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it it's not specific at all. It's areas of spend. Mm. So it, I think when this was written, you know, you're saying you know. Do you give twenty thousand pounds to one group and then somebody else comes along and you've already spent it? Mm -hmm. I think when this was written, I think it was kept deliberately non specific yeah. so that mm. you could respond fairly yeah. widely Why to they, things. Yeah. yeah. Really. Yeah. You know, instead of tying ourselves into knots yeah. and then having to change the policy. Yeah. It was left deliberately vague, I would say. Yeah. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's really, it's <coughs> directly to grant policy, isn't it? Uh, <coughs> not policy, forget the word policy. Yeah. To the grant... Uh, it, it is, but it's more... Uh, and we use, we use the same criteria for that, don't we? Kind of. It's, well, it, we do, um, yeah, as I remember it. Well, it's uh, over and above the grant. Well, what we have but, here but, is... But what, but the SIL award will so normally be for large projects, yeah, not yeah. covered by yeah. the grant so scheme. So infrastructure so as well. Yeah. So yeah. if you're looking at grants, you've got lights in the, no, the theatre, you've got carpets and things mm, like that. So. What I meant was, if you did go ahead and we decided as a council that we wanted to spend it on one project, well, that's fine. That's, that's the town council's and decision. I, no, I agree uh, off, off, off that money goes, yeah. and then the, the people can come and ask for... Mm. Grant. There was, yeah, a, grant there was grant. another consideration which I had, which was the neighbourhood plan. That the neighbourhood plan should drive infrastructure. Absolutely. If you're talking about infrastructure, as in, you mm. know, well, let's provide things for Bingley, then, then the neighbourhood plan. I agree plan. with you, because so, as I keep saying to you, it's no good having a plan unless no, no. you yes. act and, on and, it. And we <laughs> know it, uh, Ian Cunningham has said that our plan is uh, highfalutin and got grandiose and lo mm. needs loads of money. Well, you know, maybe that's uh, we should start allocating. So, mm. so I think going back to what I was saying, that's why you haven't got a seal policy in front of you because it became a bigger project. Right. Um, and and I think I'm looking for a volunteer to work with, or, or one or two volunteers from this team, um, to work with Philip and I to get it better than it is. So uh, I would have said Mo Carney from Friends of Pingley and Ashraf Mia as as well. But they're not here to put their hands up. But uh, if you want to, there's no hurry to update it. If you want me to put it forward to the next meeting while you all think about well, it. Well, the date on this is May 2020. Yeah, we, well, we so know it's it got to be reviewed. Yeah, we know it needs to be reviewed. By May 20. I would suggest we also discuss it with the new neighbourhood plan consultant. Yes. So that being the case, you got that action point then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you're in contact with him or, him or her, I guess. Yeah. Does that need to go on the MPWG agenda then, do you think? That might be yeah. 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 Yeah, I think so. For the twen you know, 20th. Um, okay, so that being the case, if we want to discuss it with the consultant before we update it, shall I just pull it and stick it on the agenda for the next meeting and hopefully... Uh, Councillors Carney and Mia will be back in the chair and uh, we can allocate a little bit of resource to it. It's, it's, it needs decisions to be taken. I don't mind having a look at it with you. Okay. you know. When is the next meeting? 
Well, I'm just going to kick round. Uh, I'm just going to send your comment right, out right. to uh, Helen and put my five penny worth in, and we'll kick it around and to discuss yeah. it. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy to kick it's it. It's an email it. thing rather than. Yeah, a, I'm quite happy to kick it around now. It's hard yeah. to make okay. Perhaps, yeah, an email thing, and then perhaps a Zoom or yeah, an yeah. hour, yeah, an hour to. Yeah. But we'll, we'll start firing some legislation links into mm -hmm. it and such, and go and look at this, go and look at that. Mm -hmm. This is what they are, because I, I do think you're right that Bradford were flying a kite in the original mm -hmm. uh, first year, um, but they, they've changed their policy now. Okay, so uh, we'll do that, and um, all in favour of doing that, yeah. yes, say aye, yes, that's brilliant. Uh, grant funding then, um, we have a grant funding update from uh, councillors uh, Clough and Good. It's so. John that's got the <laughs> <John. nominations. laughs> Right. Okay. Um, I would ask if we could have a meeting ready for the, to, to come to this meeting. But prior to that, we've had some further guidance from the um, from Bradford Council. Okay. Uh, some, I, some higher up in the council, oh, we, yes. we had a couple of ideas but she suggested Christmas lights. So oh, okay. this is, it has to be spent in Cottingley. So I've already had a meeting with, uh, so there's 4,000 pound. I've already had a meeting with Terry, uh, Terry Jowett from, Festival um, Light. from Festival Lights. And I've come up, I've suggested some ideas yeah. and uh, he's taken some notes and give me some costs. I've almost spent it. Right. But what I'm looking to do, uh, I've also got a meeting with Mark tomorrow at Cottingley to, to tell him what I have I've suggested. And basically that can be just added onto the, uh, added onto the Christmas mm -hmm. lights. Our, our own so we, Bingley Town Council, can get 4,000 quids worth of stuff for Christmas out of this grant. So it'll be... To be used in Cottingley. Mm. It has to be used in Cottingley. So rather than sort of next year, me, mm -hmm. me or Howard and, and mm -hmm. me, uh, Ashraf Ashraf. come into Binley Town Council and say, whoop, it's our turn. It's Cottingley's turn, uh, yeah. Brilliant. We, we'll, uh, we'll deal that. So I, I'm following that up at the moment. How and does that work from a budget point of view, John? Uh, well, it's spent, isn't it? And it's, you know, who pays? Do we get it into our uh, I understand it pay? comes to Binley Town Council. Right, OK. Um, is that right, Eve? Yeah, it'll come in. Yeah, it, it, the, 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 the correspondent said it came to it. It came, came to it. So, yeah. to be spent whatever, is spent, whatever is spent will belong to Bingley Town Council, and Bingley Town Council have the ongoing taking up and yeah. putting down as and when. Okay. But the actual infrastructure, you know, the hardware will yeah. yeah. be paid for. Yeah, oh, excellent. So, so pardon? Can I state uh, what sort of things have you looked at? Well, well, <clears throat> just give it funnily, quick, well, I can. Yeah. So at the moment, we have, and John keeps going up and down ladders, uh, putting 10 Christmas trees up, yeah. which we have the brackets for. But I went home after doing it this year, and I said to Dan, the, these are getting shabby, they're getting... Mm -hmm. So I've suggested that we replace those mm -hmm. completely, yeah. which is a £1,000. Mm -hmm. We also, and I didn't think we were able to do this, but we also have... Um, it's to promote business supposedly right so um, there's four lampposts within the parade mm -hmm. I, because they're only small ones mm -hmm. I didn't think we'd be able to use those but he assures me we can oh, so that would be four yeah. probably double things mm -hmm. and that's 2200 so that's mm -hmm. 3000 and then um, then there's the putting up and taking down and the pack testing and stuff like that so it came to 38 but uh, then I was suggesting, if we were 200 short, uh, to put something on the end. I've, I've, I've read again, I've, we bought stuff, it all belonged to the Community yeah. Association. Uh, but I, um, there's a Christmas display that I made a frame for and put it on that. I keep putting up and taking down and, uh, something more permanent yeah. and add some, uh, if 200 isn't enough, add something out of the Christmas budget. Yeah. Um, 
till make it Just complete it. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Yeah. yeah. So that four thousand pounds. Yes. Yeah. Is not in this budget. No, 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 no. No, because we haven't got it yet. No, no. So grand. the expenditure it doesn't need to be in this budget. I don't think so. No. 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 So it nets itself out. To spend it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, by I, the end I think we've discussed this, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. It to be spent by the end of summer. Sep- yeah. September. So yeah. that's September. why we. Well, that's why the wheels are in motion now. Right. Uh, to, and I've, I've said to Tilly, we need a, we need an invoice before yeah. the end of September. Okay. okay. I have to say that I'm um, uh, actually living in Cottingley myself, but John's efforts and the Christmas lights uh, uh, and keep that area of, it, of the cul-de-sac village attractive for Christmas are, are fine, and they've been embracing it. But now I'm. A, a member for Cronist, I always think Morlington Road's a bit drab at Christmas, and I wish we could manage something, something for them there. Well, there again, um, mm. that, that'll, be, that'll be for the future. We, we haven't dis- decided anything for this year, apart from uh, Mark's already approached me to get some prices for a couple of extra Christmas Christmas trees that are similar to Gilstead's, uh, and so that'll be... the. the, the some of the um, expenditure uh, is sort of sort of earmarked, if because mm-hmm. we've we've always got the cr- the tree in the in the square that we've we've provided, mm. uh, and we've provided one at Gilstead, so that'll be to re- to uh, replace if you like next year, and they're talking about two others. So, but that's I don't know, that'd be about four thousand, you know, about three thousand or something like that, mm-hmm. four thousand. So, and I know it's not on the agenda, and I know I'm going to get rebuked for mentioning it. But does anyone know anything about a bid, a business improvement district? No. Okay. I know yeah. we're not one. I know we're not one. Do you know yeah. anything about one? Vaguely, I um, Shipley. Uh, yeah, well, Ilkley's got one. And, Ilkley, and it's yeah. only the guy in Weatherspoons, the landlord of Weatherspoons, was bending my ear the other day that if we had a bid then the business themselves would fund the, the mm. Christmas uh, mm. and, and the flowers and things outside their businesses. But I oh. think it has to come... Well, do now. It oh. has to come from oh. business, doesn't it, not from the council? Yes. I'm, I'm, that's, I'll make some inquiries. I'll look at a website. What you need is, like, the Chamber of Trade... Yes, to, to do it. To do it. Yeah. We have we yeah. have discussed around it yeah, yeah. In, in the past. Okay. Um, so when I think agenda, so Shipley, I Shipley will get in there risk. and whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So moving on then to uh, well, just very quickly before we do, Steve. John, mm-hmm. you said you went home. I'm going to do this. Are you intimating that we may well have to start and pay somebody to do this, John? If you are saying you're getting a bit long in the tooth. No. no that wasn't what you said. No. 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 What I said was that. These, tr- these, sure. these, no, these trees will now belong to Bingley Town Council. Yes, no, yeah. So it won't be up to John to put the Christmas trees up, it will be up to Festival Lights to put them up yes, on behalf of Bingley Town Council. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes. going up and down ladders, though. I think yes. That's what, yeah. uh, well, that's, yeah, that's yeah. what I do do. But you yeah. won't have to. No. No. No, and no. it's getting harder. Well, it's... Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's it's you'll be, of course you will. Yeah. He's done it for him, was John. John and Stuart Chadwick. So a proposal, is that... Do we need to vote on that as a proposal? Because you were asked to come back with a proposal to spend the money which you had to no, spend, so well, um, you've done it. No, it's not really a proposal. Well, we're only receiving I think, an update. I, I just think so you're receiving a, 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 a report. An update. Yeah. An update. So, so we don't have to vote on it. No, no I don't think so. No. And, I, and you can put it, if you put it onto the next agenda, and then if I have an update by then, I'll, <coughs> I'll update you. Okay. Well, thanks okay. for the update, uh, Howard. Yeah. But I thought, it, I thought if I got straight on to Mark about it, and he wouldn't think that I would do it, you know, it, it, it can be added to the yeah. budget now yeah. and, and, and see what he thinks about it. Okay. 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 So, uh, 21, 22, 123 internal control inspections to agree arrangements for the internal control inspection for quarter three. Now, this was the one where um, the auditor wanted us to have <coughs> two, which we then got to, didn't no, we? No, we didn't. No, we did. it wasn't we only agreed at the last meeting. It's on the agenda for the full council next oh, okay. week. But I've put it on here. Just, I mean, myself and Philip have come up layers about this, but it's just so it's minuted that we're doing it. For okay, so we still need another one. Yeah. Another yeah. person, another councillor. If we're going to do what the auditor says. Yes, I, I know you do. I still think so. it's completely over the top, given... All the other checks. All, all the other checks that think, are in place. She's just checking that, that all the other checks have been done. I agree, done, really. but yeah. if the auditor says yeah. it, yeah. then I, I think... I think you've lost that debate. If you were, if, say, I don't know, just for example, Ashraf became the other one. If you were ill, 
yeah, he could do. I, I don't think you have to both come in to the office and do it. look through the invoices together. Well, what's the point of? <laughs> Okay. So I would have thought if two people I just were meant to do it. In the interest of good governance, yeah. if that's what the auditor says. Because we've always had to. Then that's what we do. We've always had to. So. Okay, so what are the agreements that we were agreeing, the, the arrangements we were agreeing as per the agenda? So we're agreeing that it's on the agenda for the full it's council. It's on the agenda for the full council to agree, I mean, to agree another person. A new person. But then I, I can liaise with Philip around this other person. Well, have you got one agreed by the end of December 2021? That's, that's what this says. No, no that's, that, that, that's, the, that's to do the, the controls for all the stuff up to four quarter three. That's the end of quarter three, 31st so, so December. So we're now, because we're now in January, we need to go back and, we're in and quarter sign off four. last quarter. So quarter three needs Am I misreading that? Because that says to agree arrangements for the internal for four quarter three. Yeah. No, that, that's exactly what it means. So what are the arrangements for quarter three? That we'll elect a new person, person and then or have and a new person meantime, volunteer. But we're now moving into quarter four. Yeah, but yes, but you can't do quarter it three till it's over. Ah. Can you? Oh, okay. No, that makes sense. <laughs> right, okay. So yes. We've no, you're being thick I am. I am. I am. I am wondering about it. Right, okay. So, oh, so, right. so even I will liaise just to work out the logistics of it yeah. because as far as I can see we've got this tick list we need to go there yeah, it, it, it but is. everything needs to be out so we can look at it, it is so a yeah. everyone's yeah, right, it is. signed it off is. everything in the yeah, it is roughing so, through checkbooks and things yeah. like that yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Prob yeah. it's probably going to take half a day I think mm. it'll take quite a long time yeah but I wanted to put it on the agenda so it's proof to the yeah. auditor that we are. We, how did I did it? Yeah, ten minutes. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Was it's it? not a big onerous no, job. Helen and I have done it before, wasn't it? I haven't done it before. It's not onerous. No, it's not half day. We've got a new checklist now, though, haven't we? That we adopted. That's... Did we? You uh, did. You've, 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 this long. Yeah. you've made it long, have you? <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, be bad, then. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes. So we do, can have everything ready, can't we? Yeah. Do we need to vote that you two are going to get your heads together, or do we just agree that silently? Let's just agree that's We'll just agree that. Yeah. So 21, 22, 124 risk management. Oh, now this was interesting. Um, again, Councillor Gibbons raised some interesting questions last month about what happens to the risks that we've identified. We keep identifying risks both here and at the full council yeah. and uh, uh, they, they tend to disappear into the ether there's no risk register there's no You're risk right. anywhere well no Philip is right and uh, <laughs> we, we, so w when this came out again as an agenda point that's why it was to include the agreement the compilation of a risk register mm -hmm. yeah. will this risk register then be a live document a live document absolutely and will we in terms of, say, the full council meeting, will we then identify whether those risks should still be on? There's no policy document for a risk register. Mm. Uh, Eve has consulted the previous clerk, who right. said it was a good idea at the time to uh, come out of a training course to have a risk register mm. or uh, to, to, to debate risk, mm. but she, she, uh, she admitted that we weren't doing anything about it. Right. So, so there's nothing anywhere? Hey, no, mm -hmm. nothing. We disagree risks, uh, Robert, and we all say yes, hope it's for the a best. Risk, but, mm -hmm. And then cross our fingers and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. And no one ever right. does anything about it. Well, I think that that's an excellent idea, Philippa. Looking at Philippa. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, no, I think someone ought to come up with a first pass risk policy. Uh, which includes the creation of a risk register, it's regular monitoring, it's how, how things get on it, how things get taken off it, and what we do about it. Yeah. Um, and you know, it should it should, have... uh, shouldn't be onerous to put together. Every organisation in the sun's got one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. we can work to it. Yeah, but that's, that's what Philip is saying, there will be a model somewhere on the internet. There will be. Well, it's set it up by Yeah. Okay. So, if YRCA is, are you going to um, circuit? Oh, circulate their one for the next meeting yeah. okay so have we any more identified new risks then other than the fact we haven't got a risk register um the risk is is is, is a risk presenting a new precept that may not be popular with the it's what we do every it's year. what we do absolutely it's not a risk no. I, well, no. I, I don't think it's a risk I, I, well, think, uh, risk, I think there will be certain uh, uh, discussions on January the 18th yeah, and yeah. there will be a pleasure to be part of. I, I'm, 
I don't like this idea of this risk thing. Um, well, any organisation. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's 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 this. The council are, are const- you, 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 it's identified as a risk, and yet what we're really saying is we're waiting for these independent minority groups to come forward and have two or three different um, angles on our criticisms or and 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 to me I, I don't care I'm not bothered it, it don't, no. don't, I, I, we've got to there's some of them. We've got to I think public abide by opinion. what the public yeah. opinion is. No, but we've I, got to. It's got to be treat, treated in context. It has to I'm be saying. considered. I don't think it can be the only risk. I yeah. think risk properly is risk of um, yeah, risk. going bust. Yeah, risk, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah, me, yeah. proper risk. Yes, yes, that's it. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what the risk register yeah, should yeah. be about. Yeah, we always the, we yeah. always have to consider public yeah. opinion, but it can't be. The standard by which we no, do. I mean, I, mean, just worked I mean, what what what's what's in my mind about this is, and it's just rankled me since the last full uh-huh. council meeting, when Maureen sat there and said, "There's a load of people in Bingley don't like the one hundred and sixty-eight thousand pound that the council spent." Myth. Also, at the, in the same breath, saying, "But if we don't do the change in places, that's going to cost seventy thousand, set nearly eighty thousand plus ten thousand a year." maintenance that the, those same people aren't going to sit you know it on one hand you're saying it's it's a bit you know uh w- the public's gonna in a complete as i, 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 I say we're, we're, as we're, I say, we're, 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 we're elected councillors aren't we yeah, we're supposed we, have, to be, we have to take public opinion into account but I it agree. can't be the driver it. of everything no. that, if, that we I do i think i think that's the point i'm trying and to make. i think when people are I think the more people get to know how the council works, the more that they realise that Mm. the court of public opinion is is not the sole driver of of how we do business and and why we do business. Because that certainly isn't the reason for the risk policy. No, no, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't. didn't, didn't. It's one element, and things would get added for public perception, but you could say. The the having a building there was loads of risk oh, of having a building so yeah. the roof yeah, yeah. Uh, the loan working mm, policy yeah. the car park mm. the risk of the toilet going defective and mm. blocking these are all things that are risks um, mm. but they all got added to the risk register fine that's absolutely that's absolutely some of them fine what I'm really off. what I'm really saying here is that um, what I mean what I don't have Facebook and I I keep thinking about it and I never will because. No matter what the, is put there, you're going to get people. It's like any oh, debating programme, you're going mm. to get people here who say yes, Absolutely. people who say that. But the main problem that I have is that three, 90% of the stuff is either irrelevant or misguided, i.e. somebody's kicked something off, figures-wise, etc., etc., and it's, they're, just, yeah. they're just not true. And no. the, so, getting back to this risk register and risk policy and this model, we'll have to go back for the last probably a year for the minutes of the FNGP and the full council to see what we added. To see what we've been And then to add them, and then to this this committee, mm. we'll have to debate are those still risks? Are they still risks? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, it, yeah. it, we've got I mean, something already. And if they we, are still we, risks, what risks. are we doing about it? Mm. Yeah. We have loads of risks, Robert. We, mm. we, every month we put our hands up and say there's a risk. Mm-hmm. There's a risk for that car crash accident mm. there. and Properly you know, listed and recorded that we're going to have just as a, as a consideration, even if it isn't particularly relevant. Yeah, we need to decide whether there's still a risk, and if they are a risk, what we're doing to ameliorate them. Yeah, because yeah. we don't, yeah. we don't, we don't, we don't them. monitor them. We don't, no. we, no. Don't, we don't look at what we're no. doing to uh, no. ensure they do go away. Yeah. So, Although quite often things are, you know, right. Well, the town clerk will sort that out. Do we have any? <laughs> we, we had a suggestion of a risk, which I think we agreed wasn't a risk, which mm-hmm. was the budget. Does any any more risk coming well, out of this meeting? So. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. None, none coming out the allotment report was there, or no, the so. budget, the infrastructure levy. There's a risk that we should update that pretty quick. But as we've got the neighbourhood plan running on, I think we've got a an awareness that we can run forward with the existing policy as is. There's a risk that we 
may not be, be reporting to Bradford that we've spent no money, mm. you know, under the seal policy by the well, 31st no, of December. We, we, we don't do it. a return, don't we? Do we? Yes. They have to have a return by the 31st of January, don't they? 31st of December. Yeah. yeah. It's the end of the year. Yeah. No, well, well, it's, it's, it's either December to, or January. They only have to have a return to say what we spent. And if we say spent what none, we spent, yeah. Um, well, there's no, there's if no I, what was that little bag last that, year? No, that what didn't get allocated. Pardon? It didn't get allocated to sill. What, metal power? Yes. Oh. No. Oh. Yes. Oh. No, it didn't. We, you might have I remember you some, I remember something about this now you've been has it yeah. has it has it come out of then? Uh you money. Go on, money. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Take a simple case of where say you were suggesting that uh, we ought to um see whether there's a suitable route for the uh, an upgrade to a public footpath. But and uh, the councillor goes out and inspects and falls over on all the boulders and hurts themselves. Mm -hmm. There's a risk factor there. Yeah. Yes, well, that risk factor would presumably be down to Bradford to have to maintain. So that may be part of the risk management that we alert Bradford, whose responsibility it is, and we tick our box to say we have alerted the appropriate authority. Mm. Uh, or if they, they then still haven't done it and it still continues to be a risk, we might vote again that we spend some money on uh, a, a warden to do it. You know, those sort of things come out of the conversation. I think. But so I don't think we found any more risks. I think we want we need to move on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, one, two, five exclusion of the press and public. So I'm so, now going to. So I propose that that we ask the press and public to. Yes. Yeah. And seconded. Yeah. All so in all in favour. Yes. Yeah. So I'm now going to stop the recording and say good night to the people out there in the world, and move on to discuss that. Uh, so. Yes. Stop.